Hello and welcome back friends here on our YouTube channel. Before I start with this video and before I get into the details, I like to let you know that this video is not sponsored by FIFO or anybody else. In this video I like to talk about the diesel fuel heater that I bought two years ago at FIFO at the internet. If you check out their website you will find out they have a big variety on diesel fuel heaters. But most of the time they are all the same, except of the size, there are some with 8 kilowatts and some with 5 kilowatts. Some with Bluetooth and some without. Let's talk about this one. Like I said earlier, I bought these diesel heaters two years ago from FIFO. I posted a video about it, how to assemble all that things that comes in the box and I made the first test run. You can find a link where you can watch this video in the description down below. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that heater. The price from round about $150 was absolute okay that time. Right now it's a couple dollars cheaper. But there is a thing I really don't like on that because of its wasting heat that it produces. So it's not efficient enough. At this kind of diesel heaters, there comes a lot of heat out at the front air outlet, which is good. But there comes more heat out at the exhaust system than at the front outlet, which is not good. In this case, 194 degrees Celsius. Just think about water starts to cook at 100 degrees Celsius. So that's 194 degrees Celsius wasted heat heat that i can use to heat a room or in my case my shop and in this old video i said what i think is a lot of temperature wasted blow to the outside i definitely have to make that way more efficient it needs definitely another heat exchanger and here we are and i like to show you what i have changed and my new setup the first things I made was two wall supports. Heavy duty, extra strong and super solid. I drilled the holes and tacked it together. Finish the welding. And put the nice coat of spray paint on it. I tried to find the best place for the heater in my plastic shop. Right under the window. I removed the old pipe fittings from the radiator to make more space. I installed the support for the support. And the support. And again the support of the support so I think that's enough support for now no you can never have enough support if you like to support us a little you can buy us a coffee especially that cold weather I put the link for you in the description down below finally the diesel heater on top of the supports that will give me enough space underneath the supports for the exhaust pipe man that was a lot of support i 
I went to the hardware store to buy the necessary fittings and man they were expensive I paid over $53 for that little galvanized stuff but I tell you at the end it's worth it I used a little Teflon tape to put all the fittings together Tighten the fittings with the pipe wrench. And I installed all the fittings on the cast iron radiator that I bought at Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. Which is now my fumes to air heat exchanger. I marked the spot for the hole to bring the fumes outside and I cut it with the hole saw. I know a lot of people will say now why is he cutting a hole into the floor to get outside. So my little shed is located on a concrete slab. So between the shed and the concrete slab there is a little space where I like to get uh, the fumes out of the building. And I will never cut a hole in a wall or an outside wall if I don't have to because of if it's raining and the rain drips on the pipe the water or the rain from the pipe goes to the wall and makes my wall wet. So I always try to find a way not drilling a hole in an outside wall or in a roof if I not absolutely have to. I used fire resistant stone wool for insulation and to close the hole that I drilled in the floor and aluminum tape to seal the flexible x house pipe with the galvanized pipe fittings. And I connected the 12 volt deep cycle battery after two years the first time to the diesel heater. What do you think? Will it start after two years the first time with the old diesel fuel in it without any problem? And with minus one degree Celsius in the workshop? Yeah, priming works. And a few minutes later Sounds like a jet aircraft is starting in my shed 4 diesel heater for tower. We are ready for takeoff. Tower for V4 diesel heater. You have green light. Have a nice flight. What a hell sound that comes out of this little machine. Let's check a couple temperatures after five minutes of running. From minus 2 to 13.7 degrees Celsius after 5 minutes running the heater at the inlet of the cast iron radiator. It reached the working temperature so the burner and the fan slows down a little bit. After another minute.
after another two minutes. The temperature at the outlet from the radiator right on top of the floor, that pipe is sticking out and outside we have minus seven, minus eight degrees. added the hose with the nozzle to the diesel heater because of the warm air comes out straight and I like that it blows more into the room not against the wall. After half an hour running the diesel heater, a couple more measurements of the temperature. Absolute good enough to keep the coffee hot. So we are right now at plus minus 45 minutes of running and I definitely like to say with that cast iron radiator in the exhaust system it heats the shop pretty fast, pretty good and it's super super efficient if you think about you have an inlet temperature from around about 100 degrees and you have right now an outlet temperature to the outside of the building from uh, 3.4 degrees Celsius this is incredible good and if you would ask me would I do that again I would say definitely yes all the thumbs up and it works great with the cast iron radiator and it's super so much more efficient I absolutely like it are the final measurements after an hour of running the FIFA diesel heater.
If you are looking to find a way to heat your workshop, my workshop in this case is 12 by 20 feet, that could be the right solution for you. A diesel fuel heater together with a cast iron radiator. That makes the system efficient. And diesel heater are really super good on fuel. <laughs> That's it for this video, thanks guys for watching it, don't forget to subscribe for our channel, hit the notification bell and we see us in the next video.